Trigonometry is the study of the ratios of the sides of a right triangle, which is a triangle with one 90 degree angle. You can use the TI-30XA to calculate the values of the trigonometric functions and their inverses. In our triangle, label one of the angles that isn't the 90 degree angle with X. Now label the side that is opposite this angle, O. Label the longest side, which is opposite the right angle, with H for hypotenuse. Finally, label the last side A for adjacent. The trigonometry buttons we will be using are here. The buttons are labeled SIN, COS, and TAN, and their inverse functions are printed above them and can be accessed with the second key. The ratio formed by dividing side O by side H is called the sine of angle X. The sine function, abbreviated SIN, is a unary function. You enter the value of the angle, X, and press the sine button to get the result. Angles can be measured in degrees or radians, and the calculator can accept either. It starts in degree mode when first turned on. The letters DEG should appear at the top of the screen in small letters. Let's calculate the sine function for the angle 30 degrees. Enter 3, 0, then press the sine button. The answer 0 0.5 appears immediately on the screen. The inverse of the sine function can be accessed by pressing the second key followed by the sine button, which has sine negative 1 printed above it. With 0 0.5 still on the screen from our previous steps, press second and sine. The original angle, 30 degrees, should be displayed. The cosine function finds the ratio of side A to side H. Let's calculate the cosine for the angle 60 degrees. Enter 6, 0, and press the cosine button. The answer 0 0.5 should be displayed. To calculate the inverse cosine now, press the second and cosine. You should see 60 degrees displayed again. The tangent function finds the ratio of side O to side A. To calculate the tangent for the angle 45 degrees, for example, enter 4, 5, and press the tangent button. The screen should display the answer 1. Pressing second and tan at this point computes the inverse tangent of 1, and the calculator should display 45 again. Finally, this calculator can also find trigonometric functions of angles in the units of radians instead of degrees. To put the calculator in radians mode, press the DRG button. The small letters RAD replace the letters DEG at the top of the display. To go back to the degree mode, press DRG twice, or you can turn the calculator off and back on again. Anytime you find yourself working with triangles, you'll likely see the trigonometric functions appear, and you can solve these problems using the TI-30XA calculator.